want to differentiate HDI. HDI really comes in three platforms, uh, miniaturizations um, like the iPhone, things like that. Um, and then packaging technology, flip chip wire bonding, uh, um, and then really high performance that you, you see in uh, high performance computers and in telecom, which are totally different than the HDI used in say the iPhone or in packaging. And so when people say HDI, one of the problems is you, you, you need to kind of benchmark them and place them, well, what HDI are they talking about? Are they talking about the same HDI that you're doing? Or are they talking about packaging? Or are they talking about portable uh, miniaturized products? Or are they talking about very large, hot, high-speed, high-performance products? because the HDI is different than all three of these. Um, and, uh, and you don't wanna to pay too much attention to what they're talking if they're, they're not talking about your platform because they're not giving you the best information necessarily um, for what you wanna work with. Um, but what, what all HDI typically has in common is the use of micro vias or, you know, typically very, very small blind vias uh, produced today, mainly through laser. But in the early days, um, we had about six different ways of making micro vias. Um, and, and when you're dealing with laser, laser drilling is a lot more complex than mechanical drilling of uh, through holes are. Um, so one of the things that we developed and have used is this seven uh, item uh, check on the quality of laser drilling. And, and that's because uh, it's, you, you can't set up the, uh, the drilling parameters like you would for FR4 or uh, normal through hole boards. Um, every customer kind of has a unique stack up a new, unique selection of materials and um, unique thicknesses. Um, and because of that, uh, you know, you, you have to do test runs and optimization of the stack up and the design rules that a particular customer has selected. <clears throat> and then you have to cross section and look at your blind vias in these seven areas. <coughs> and I, I show kind of the specs of A, B, and C, uh, what you measure and what the control limits are and kind of the sample size, and things like that. Uh, because <coughs> it's, um, these things are so small that you, they really can't use optical inspection <clears throat> to get to what they look like. Uh, you need to have worked with the, the fabricator closely to understand that they have optimized your particular stack of material selection and design rules. Um, um, and then also, like I said, um, one of the beauties with laser is that with, with optical, uh, you can use and design fiducials to get extremely tight tolerances all the way down to zero annular rings, what we call a landless. Uh, um, it's possible, like I said, with the laser and the camera to, uh, to have a pad size, exact diameter of the laser, the finished laser drilled hole. Consequently, um, strangely enough, it's more reliable than if you had a pad on it. Um, and I, I won't go into the, um, the physics of how that is, but it's in the print circuit handbook if you read the chapter 60 on uh, HDI reliability. Um, now, like I said, in our laser machines, uh, we calibrate these virtually each week. Of course, unfortunately, you know, Hewlett Packard making the, the laser measuring machines that people that use, we don't sell them, we have an agency um, another company sell the coordinate measuring equipment laser, but we manufactured all of it, developed it. Um, and one of the big problems is the use of, 
of fiberglass. Fiberglass slows laser drilling and it can cause a lot of plating defects um, that you don't necessarily have with the mechanical. And it can make the vias very difficult to fill with them. Um, here's some pictures of, like there on the right here. Um, and if your uh, fabricator is using a CO2 laser, um, like I said, with the CO2 laser, you have energy that you have to specify. You have to specify pulse length. You have to specify rep rate. Um, um, and you have to specify programming location. So um, if that's not done consciously, um, then you can essentially delaminate the uh, the subject layer um, below that. Uh, but you don't know you've delaminated it because it, it's not a surface. This is, you know, the target land on that. So um, uh, laser drilling is a, a really refined art that um, is specific for each customer and how each customer has been designing because there's no standard 